video game commercials are very entertaining to watch, at least to me. From the days of the Atari 2600 up until the modern systems, video game commercials can be a lot of fun to watch. And for me, they can provoke a lot of emotions. Excitement, sadness, and nostalgia. Those are my three big ones that usually are invoked when I see an awesome video game commercial. So I thought, hey, it might be a good idea to talk about some of my favorite commercials of all time. Because, I mean, I'm only going to talk about three in particular from two different games. But these are the ones that I saw when I was very young, and they have stuck with me ever since. So, let's get into them. The first commercial I want to talk about is for the first Gears of War. This is the Mad World commercial. You know, the commercial that has the Gary Jules cover of the Tears for Fear song, Mad World. I love this commercial a lot because... Well, I don't know if it's the first of its kind, it's the first of which I saw. And, you know, there's no sound, there's no dialogue in the commercial at all, it's just the music. And the music expresses a lot of that emotion, along with the gorgeous visual style of the Unreal Engine at the time. And man, there are so many great parts in this commercial that still stick out to me, but my personal favorite part is actually at the end, when he's fighting the Corpser and all the other drones are coming out and, you know, it shows the logo of Gears of War. And, you know, now when I hear the song, Mad World, the, at least the Gary Jules cover, I don't think of anything else other than Gears of War. I mean, to be fair, that is like the song of the series, in a way. I don't remember if it was in 2, but I do know it was in 1 and 3. And those... I mean, that's easy, like, one of the best songs... At least to invoke like a kind of sad emotion, that's like one of the best songs to do it. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Hide my head, I want to drown my sorrow. No tomorrow, no tomorrow And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take When people run in circles, it's a very, very I also like the way that this commercial was shot. It's very cinematic. I mean, there's that shot where the camera is in the building and it's kind of following Marcus Phoenix as he's running outside of it. Um, it does a lot of like really cool action sort of shots where he goes from on the street to inside the building and it kind of cuts into it. I really like that part. Um, there's also, you know, the, the Battlefield Bad Company 2 parody of this commercial, which I think was really well done. But... Other than that, this is probably the best Gears of War commercial. Like, and, you know, I was around to remember and see it. And to me, Gears of War has really good commercials. They all kind of follow this sort of style where they let the music do most of the, most of the work and kind of getting you invested into this world. My second favorite Gears of War commercial is actually the Ashes commercial from Gears of War 3. That's my second favorite, but... Yeah, the Mad World commercial, easily my favorite Gears of War commercial, and none of the other, except for the Ashes one, none of the other commercials in the series kind of make me feel that way since the Mad World one. The next two commercials I want to talk about are from Halo 3, and man, I remember seeing these commercials when they first came out, and they still give me goosebumps. Nearly 12 years later, I still get the feelings of excitement, sadness, and nostalgia, all in just one beautiful package in just a minute's worth. And the first one I want to talk about is the Starry Night ad. This is the first ad for Halo 3 on TV that I remember. And the one thing I love about this commercial is that unless I didn't tell you it was a Halo commercial, you wouldn't know for like the first 15 seconds. 
you know, it's you got the two kids sitting in the field, and about like 15 seconds in, you see the shot of Master Chief's helmet, and you hear the sound of an incoming shell. You ever wonder what's up there? Like what? Maybe someone up there was wondering what it's like here. I guess. Do you think we'll ever meet them? I hope so. Don't you? Do you think we'll ever meet them? This commercial is great because not only does it have the excellent uh, halo of music to go along with it, but just some of these visuals also stick out to me. Like when Master Chief is just rising up and puts on the assault rifle and looks up and sees the uh, the wraith shots coming at him. You know, using, using the bubble shield and then eventually running into the uh, brute chief then with the hammer. That's another thing I like what these commercials did is that they gave like a little hint on what's going to be in the next game. Uh, you, you know, it marked the return of the assault rifle, it brought in the gravity hammer and the over, not over shield, bubble shield. Seeing this nowadays is just as awesome as it was then. I mean, this is my, this probably is my favorite commercial of all time because I remember seeing it when it first came out and being so excited for Halo 3. The next commercial in the Halo 3 ad campaign that I want to talk about is, I believe, the first Believe ad from the uh, Believe ad campaign, for lack of a better word. It's the one that centers around the diorama, you know, where it's kind of just doing this shot around the diorama and you see all these wonderfully crafted, handcrafted, by the way, kind of figures of humans and the Covenant all fighting each other. And this commercial in particular works really well, not just because it's an excellent commercial, but for some reason the diorama has a very unique feel to it. And I couldn't see this commercial being either in CG or live action. The diorama just, it feels real in a way that nothing else kind of feels like 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 I said if this was like live action nah -uh, wouldn't feel the same way and you know it's got that wonderful shot of it zooming in on the master chief being held by the brute chieftain and at the very end you know he you know he kind of, his head kind of comes up and sees the vi and you see the visor it is just a gorgeous commercial and I think it has uh, if I pronounce this correctly I'll be giving myself a cookie but it has Chopin's Raindrop Prelude number fifteen in the uh, in the commercial playing it, and that's also a really nice touch to it because it just again it just makes it so emotional in a way that not really many other commercials do. Rated M for mature. And all the other Believe ads are also really well done, like the ones with the interviews with the fictional veterans are really well done, and 
you know, all the, I mean, the Halo 3 ad campaign is the best way to market a video game ever. But these, those are just my two favorites out of the mar- marketing campaign. And um, nothing else has really made me feel that way before or since. These are, these came at a time where Microsoft really knew how to add or advertise their games. And now they still do a good job, but I don't think anyone can argue that the most recent Halo 5 commercials are as good as, you know, the Halo 3 Believe campaign. But that's just me. I want to want I want to know what you guys think. What are your favorite commercials? What are, you know, do you like the Crash Bandicoot commercials where he's, you know, outside of Nintendo's headquarters talking trash to them? Or is it, you know, like the kind of like Sega Genesis era commercials? Whatever the case may be, let me know because, I I mean, I want to make another one of these videos one day because there are so many great commercials out there that I want to talk about. But, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in another video.